I decided to go against the better judgment of the internet and I ordered from Timu. And I'm gonna go over an update later, probably in a couple days or a couple weeks, I don't know, on products that I bought and the results. But I'm gonna combine this with Amazon and I created a free guide of exactly what I'm doing. Let me show you that now. So free online challenge, zero to $1,700, how to get free money, don't miss out. So I just enter Timu the plan, win free shit on Amazon or sorry, on Timu, and then resell it on the Amazon machine. <laughs> Math looks like this. It looks like I can earn about $500 in free products a day. Uh, I think if you can get 25 of these free gifts, you'll be at 75, roughly earning me $5,000. And obviously shipping takes a little bit, so roughly be earning 2,800. So these are the products that I actually did buy. Uh, I bought this rabbit, this you know, all sorts of different toilet cleaners, dog things, uh, electric knife, uh, a drone. And as you can see, some of these products, like I got this dog thing for $3.69 and I can sell it for 14 with a 12% discount or I can sell it on the Facebook marketplace for 15. Uh, this drone I got for 19, I can sell it for 49 or 24 on the Facebook marketplace. And so pretty easy to do. And this was kind of the little guide I put together. But I wanna show you some of the products and why they look, why Timo is so sketchy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I bought uh, this purple toothpaste whitening foam and it got great reviews. 4.6, 100,000 sold. Uh, so looks phenomenal. But if you go to the reviews, 616 reviews, and you can see this perfect for the cost works efficiently and accurate description. But when I click on this and go to no difference, you're not expected or works efficiently, uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So when I go works efficiently, works really good, great bargain gift, works really good, recommended purchase. And then this is where it just becomes, all of these all fake because really works, 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 really works. And are those real people? Because, uh, you know, I feel like some of these people are just fake and um, they're not real actual products. Bought as a gift, great shoes, really works. I bet you a lot of these are spam bots that Timu set up purposely to make it look like it actually sold more or reviewed more than it really has. So again, this is another light that I bought, great reviews. I see reviews, not working. I try to plug in and, and turn it off and turn it on, did not work. Got this product with the remote, wouldn't work. Not good, it doesn't even work. Not working, waste your money. Um, and then these are some of the videos of the products, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I mean, that's pretty cool, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. They're pretty good, I don't know. I, I bought it, I bought things off Timu, and I'm, you know, this is the thing. And I don't know what this black square is, it's really, it's reflecting my screen, I think. They're blue light filters. Anyways, um, what I wanted to say was, People are so scared about China stealing your information and all your information, but the United States or your own government does it already. Uh, I mean, your cable internet provider has all the information that you search. Google has all the things that you searched. Apple knows everything you've done on your device. These are things that I think our own government fear mongers people into thinking that China is the bad guy. Um, and I mean, if you think about it, Google kind of does the same thing with search results. They kind of only point you into certain directions. You can look on DuckDuckGo and compare them. Um, so I mean, it's not like it's that different in a, in a sense. So if they steal my information, all my information is already online. Um, everyone's information is online. I mean, look at how many data breaches there are every year. Um, and that's just to gather more data for people, for businesses. Um, like I wouldn't be surprised if companies hire hackers to literally steal, do data breaches so that they can gather more information to do better marketing, to feed AI algorithms, to 
one, it's data is like gold today with AI, marketing, everything. Two, um, you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna bat an eye when there's another data breach in a sense because there's so many of them. And I've, I mean, I've never done anything with them. Um, has it affected my life? No, at all. I mean, I'm sure my social, my credit cards, my uh, where I live is all public. Stop living in fear, I guess, is the whole, the whole thing of it. Um, I, I'm gonna still do business. I'm gonna still make money and we'll see how this goes. I'll get you guys updated on uh, how the products turn out. I'll probably just do a Timu review of the products and then I will be doing um, reselling them because I'm I don't use them. Um, and then it's also gonna give me market research on uh, really how to start maybe a Shopify or dropshipping business. Um, that's it, so hope you guys have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next. In terms of privacy, all governments steal your data and they use it because, um, yeah, I'm guessing that uh, if they want to set someone up for something, then they can easily do that. Um, yeah.